Hey guys, welcome back to Release the Craft In. Priscilla here with a quick journal share for you guys today. Right now I am playing catch up, so you're going to get back to back videos um, of the journals that I just made. I just finished uh, the next two books in my Sabbat Book of Shadows series. So these are the books that I made for Maven. And uh, the next video will have the books I made for Samhain. And they will literally be back to back, if not the same video. We'll see what happens. Um, you also have to forgive any noises you hear in the background. That's just my printer going because I'm multitasking to the fullest right now. So there's lots of stuff happening. So forgive me for all that. But we're going to bust through these. Um, like I did with my Lunasa journal, I kept it pretty simple because um, these books are intended to be filled up over like years of use. So I didn't want to like add a bunch of pockets and tuck spots and things like that that would be extraneous. So they're really basic, so the flip through is going to be pretty quick like. Um, so I made two books, like I said, I have one for me and then there's one that I'm sending to a friend. So we both got a book and the same thing with um, the Samhain books coming up. And um, we'll just flip through this one I guess and I'll put this one off to the side. They're exactly the same. So don't worry, there's nothing exciting you're missing in one book to the other, except for the other one had different fabrics. That was the only difference. So this fabric I got from Kim. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, and then I dropped the book. Um, and so I use that. It's a small book. I think that it's like, I don't know. I'm going to tell you. It's like 5 and 5 eighths by, what, 8 and a half? I'll say 8 and a half because that's close. Um, and it only has a one inch spine, but as you can see, it's not too chunky. I mean, it's a decent size, but it's not super chunky. Like I said, um, I'm going to fill it up with more stuff. I didn't even add a closure to this because it's not that fat. Um, maybe like after a while, I'll probably add a closure to it. But for right now, I figured this was pretty good. Um, so on the side here, I added these leaves that Kim sent me in a happy mail. Um, as tabs, and I got this idea from Dolly at Gypsy Rose Papery, so I'll link her channel down below. She did it, um, in one of her planners, which I think I saw on her Instagram, but she has lots of cool stuff on her channel, so I'll link her channel. And then I made, um, just four paperclip charms using some, uh, some, like, gemstone beads that I have that match the, uh, the stones for the holiday. And, um, or the colors, depending on what I had, like, available in my stash. There's, like, there's red jade, there's carnelian, there's yellow turquoise, which I think is just, like, heat-treated and colored. I don't think it actually comes that way. I don't know. There's, like, a venturine, there's some tiger's eye, there's, a uh, yeah, red carnelian, I think I already said. And then these are just some glass, like, beads that I thought were kind of leaf-shaped, so I added those in there, too. And then for the cover, I kept it really basic. Um, like I said, this book is going to get a lot of use, and I'm going to add stuff to it over the years, so I didn't want to do anything crazy. So the only thing I did was I used uh, this little cinnamon broom I got, and I tied it to the front so it actually unties. And then um, the broom can be used in, like, practice. And then, like, I might want to, like, decorate the broom later so I can take it off, decorate it, put it back on here. And then it just ties back on really simply. And then also, like, I figured... It would keep the book from being too chunky or, like, hard to write on. Um, so I made it removable. And then, um, this journal was made entirely with a kit from Sassafras and Treacle. So I will link her Etsy shop down below. She has, um, three of the eight Sabbaths so far. And I think she's going to come out with the Christmas one pretty soon. Not Christmas, Yule. Her, the Yule Book of Shadows pages will come out pretty soon. Or, her Yule journal kit pages will come out soon. So I will link her shop down below so you guys can keep an eye out for that and see some of these other kits because they are gorgeous, you guys. They're really pretty. And so they don't take a lot of work or a lot of altering. I just kept them pretty basic and just used what they had. And then, um, like I did with my Lunasa book, I printed up a bunch of images I had on Pinterest and added that in here just, you know, for fun because I never get to use those images in anything. And I always see them and save them, so I printed them out and added them to these books. And like I said, they're not for sale, so I'm not really worried about, like, copyright issues. And I don't make money off the video, so I think we're all good to go. So for the inside, I used um, just some regular scrapbook paper in an autumn theme. And I made a little pocket and added these gold leaf stickers and a ribbon and one of those uh, Tim Holtz Chit Chat stickers. And then I got these free um, recipe cards online, so I downloaded those and printed those out. 
out of that here because you know Maiden's like all about the food so you gotta have some space to like put recipes and then you put that back in the pocket and so like I said like this kit pretty much speaks for itself really gorgeous um, even the line pages are really pretty and I just used some coffee dyed paper and I distressed everything with um, distress ink and rusty hinge and I just had a sticker here a little glassing bag and I got to print up some of my mood boards for my aesthetics uh, pin board on Pinterest, which is always fun. And I have one of those uh, paint chip things that you get from the stores. I just added an image to that and some stationary paper. And here I added a couple of cider recipes and a picture to match. And those little fold out. And then I printed on some vellum, and here is some uh, some Easter egg dyed paper I got from Shayna. And a little pocket from the kit, and I just added in a bunch of like fun images and stuff to kind of help uh, capture the holiday and the symbolism, you know, and to get you in that like witty holiday mood. Oh, I'm like traveling with this thing. Um, so like a recipe page from a like a vintage book that April sent me. And then the kit came with like these little file folders. So I stuck a picture on the inside. And then there's another sheet of stationery paper underneath that. And then I sprayed some of the backs of the paper with um some Lindy spray. Some of the flat Fabios. And some more coffee dye paper from Shayna. Oh, and in the center of the signatures, I did a little bit of beading. Just because, I don't know, I really like the way they sound and I thought it was fun. Plus, I ended up like measuring out way too much string and I didn't want to waste it. So, they became dangles. And then I sprayed over a tag to get this effect. I'm in a little pocket here. It's the other side of that recipe paper. And I love these tabs. I really like how they came out. They're really cute. And then a little tip up. Here's the other side of that vellum I printed on. And then some more images from Pinterest. And I cannot like help but travel with this book. I don't know why. And then it came with a little envelope. There's that charm. Oh, and a mood board, which I ended up, like, creasing. And then, inside here, just a little printout. The other side of that paint chip. Such a pretty page. I love the Blackberry theme. I really like how rich the colors in this kit were. And here's a tag. And then I stuck an image on the inside of the glassine bag. And then one on the back. And then this pretty pocket. And then that is the end of the first signature. And then the second signature. More stationary paper, some spraying on. This is um, some ledger paper that I got from Laura at a papered soul. I swear I hope that's her name. I, I'm 100% certain it's her name, but I'm doubting myself right now. I'll link her shop down below too. She has some really cool stuff. And there's another file folder. There's the other side of that page. Like, this red is just so pretty, and I, I don't know. It took all the printer ink, but I think it's totally worth it, because I love it. And then another piece of printed vellum. Some orange paper. I think Shana dyed these ones, too. So, thank you, Shana. And then I added in some recipes. Upside down, apparently. pocket. And then there's another recipe sheet. Little corner pocket. 
some more printouts. And then on the back of this is a little incense recipe. And like I said, I kept this real simple, you guys, because I just wanted it to be, like, inspiring but not, like, overwhelming because I want to add a lot of my own stuff to it. And I fussy cut out some washi tape and stuck that down. And then here is the other little dangles. And then I did some more washi tape and kind of, like, collaged it in here with this image on the other side of that paint tip. And I have little fairies for this one. And then I turned this like pedal pocket into like a double pocket. So it holds some of those. There we go. And then that opens up and then it just got the card that came with it and the kit to journal on. Now the question is, can I close it while everybody's watching? Yes. And one more. Some more printouts. Like I said, real simple. We really like how it came out. I think everything kind of works together really nicely. Sorry, I had to sneeze. So you missed that. And you missed me putting the card back in the pocket. There's the other mood board that was on the other side. The other side of that ledger paper with some more of that washi tape. And then this is the last little pocket. And that's the back. And that's it for this one, you guys. Uh, stick to, stick around. <laughs> There's going to be another one <gasps> right after this. So we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, bye.